What is going on guys? This is Joe Young coming at you another video for the week. So this week we are going to give you guys an update on what's going on with the fish rooms and fish tanks around the, the house. And then also I want to do the 8k uh, subscriber contest drawing today as well so that I can kind of get you guys some of these shirts shipped out. Uh, we'll do the drawing towards the end of the video, so make sure you guys stay tuned to see who the winners are for that video. So right now, I want to kind of give you guys an update on what's going on with the fish room. So uh, this week, I wanted to dedicate some time in terms of, you know, I, I always have to, you know, put aside some time to do some water changes, you know, check the fish's health, feed them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's just the normal maintenance from week to week, and, you know, I don't always like to um, show everything in you know every week video in terms of like the same stuff that you know you're supposed to do but um, this week uh, I wanted to dedicate some time to do something a little bit different um, I actually dedicated one like shelf that I had extra to putting all my medicines all my foods etc and trying to organize that to, you know, just make things a little bit easier because right now, you know, ever since the move, a lot of stuff has just been in boxes and because it's in boxes, it's hard to know where everything is and then when you kind of like say, oh, you know, I don't have this, you go, you end up spending more money because you're like, okay, maybe I don't have this and then you go order some more stuff and then you figure out like, you know, I had a bunch of us just stashed in some sort of box. So this week, I went ahead and organized uh, the rack so that it actually looks really nice, really organized. I still have to go through a bunch of the fish food. I at least have all the medicine, fertilizers and whatnot all set up on the rack so I know where everything's at. I know what I can grab, what I need, what I don't have, etc, etc. So I'm not going to lie, the organization of that rack and just moving stuff around the garage to get space to it moving stuff um it was a headache it, was, it took a lot of time longer than i thought it would but uh, it needed to be done eventually you know i wanted to make stuff organized and make stuff look good um so that was done so on top of actually organizing that rack system outside the rack system inside for the planet reef tank is moving along a lot faster um than i thought Normally with the cycle of um, a reef tank, it takes, to be honest, like at least a month to two months for me. Um, just because I've been using a lot of like cycled materia, uh, live rock, live sand that's been in the previous uh, tank, the cycling phase has been a lot faster. It's been almost like two weeks and the ammonia level is where it needs to be. So I have uh, was able to introduce um, some... Basic cocoa pods, um, a lot of different things to help seed the system. I always do this uh, at least once for all of my uh, reef tanks, planet or non-planet. And I get this stuff uh, from various companies. Um, the one that I've been going to a lot recently has been Algae Barn. Uh, they have some really good pricing and really good just uh, different types. So I went ahead and just decided to to pick up some you know, from them. And just, you know, toss some of that in here. Uh, I actually ended up having a bunch of stuff that was for free. So uh, that was great. I just had extra stuff and I just went ahead and tossed all that in the system there. And here's a quick shot of the actual rack system so far. I actually got in a bunch more plants. I got some seagrass. Uh, I wasn't successful in keeping these guys the last few times I tried them. Uh, maybe hopefully, you know, this time is a little bit different just because um, I got better lights. It's in an ADA system with ADA lights. Um, so hopefully that does a little bit better. And as you can see, some of the uh, specs on the glass, those are those different types of pods and stuff like that that I threw in the tank. And it's just, you know, doing this thing. And the first thing I always introduce into the reef tank is like an A-team or like snails. Keep them there for about a week once they're good and kind of just rolling around, eating, living, doing, you know, really good. I go ahead and actually introduce, you know, first, you know, the first fish into the, the system. So everything's looking really good in this rack system. I am very, very happy in terms of the plumbing, all that stuff. And so that guy is actually just rolling and doing its thing. And the next system I want to talk about, uh, it has nothing right now, but this is my 25-gallon uh, planet tank. This is actually the first uh, tank I set up in the house to help house some of the uh, live plants that I actually had. Uh, this tank itself has nothing, and it's been running like really, really nice. Uh, but uh, next week, I'm expecting to get a new fish order in, and this will be kind of that quarantine tank for them. 
uh, until uh, everything checks out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them into the bigger tank. Um, I will, you know, leave that uh, for the next video, maybe the next two videos, because I want to get them, make sure they're okay before showing them. Uh, but they'll be in this tank because one, it's easier to treat um, lower volume of water. Two, um, this tank has been established the longest um, out of all the other tanks. Not saying the other tanks aren't cycle, fully cycle, whatever. Um, I think the treatment and whatnot in this tank will be a lot easier for them. Um, and it's just easier for me to do water changes, etc., etc. So uh, they'll be in here temporarily. Um, again, I'll probably show them once they kind of settle in and start eating and whatnot. I'll do more videos of those fish. So I'm excited to get those guys in there. All right, so that's all I really have in terms of updates uh, for this week. I've been doing actually a lot of other stuff around the house to try and to put up some, um, you know, put up some art, put up some other stuff so that um, things look a lot better around the house. I still need to do a lot of just cutting up the boxes and whatnot. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, hopefully I can get more stuff done throughout the week, uh, up in the following week, but yeah. Yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into the uh, drawing. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys here. Uh, I basically, all the people who place comments on here, thank you very much. Uh, I will do three drawings and hopefully uh, the, out of those three, we don't have people wanting all smalls because I think I only have like two or one small, a ton of mediums, a uh, few large, and only one X large. So uh, we'll have to work around that uh, video pace. I'm going to upload the comments here. We got 25 comments, and we are going to pick the very first winner here. Congratulations. Sorry, I was trying to find like some sort of like notepad to write these uh, winners down. So congratulations to the first winner. Um, second winner, that's a medium I saw on there. So that's good. We have tons of mediums. Um, Science Scale Aquatics, thank you very much. You are the second winner. Well, I'll need to ask uh, your size. Um, so I'll message you or message me. And then we'll do one more winner, and hopefully you guys don't all pick the same uh, size. And uh, congratulations. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and message you guys and get the sizes and your info so I can ship out uh, the shirts to you guys. Uh, congratulations to all the winners, and thank you very much for supporting the channel. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support and love. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribed. And like always, until next time, guys, peace.